During the Soviet era, although they were fond of large multifunctional surface warships, the unique geographical environment led to the division of the Navy into several independent parts. The fleets in the Black Sea and the Baltic Sea had a strong demand for small vessels. In the 1970s, the Soviet Navy requested the Kongsberg Naval Machine Manufacturing Bureau to develop a small submarine that could perform special tasks such as reconnaissance, mine laying, and active offensive operations. This submarine is the 865 Piranha Mini Submarine. The Piranha was originally planned to have a displacement of no more than 80 tons, but the final product had a surface displacement of 218 tons and a submerged displacement of 319 tons. It had a length of 28.3 meters and a maximum width of 4.7 meters. The submarine only required three crew members, including one commander, and could also carry six divers for special operations. The Piranha was very powerful in terms of performance. Its hull was made of titanium alloy, and its lightweight and sturdy structure allowed it to reach a diving depth of 200 meters, surpassing other mini-submarines. Its weapon systems were installed outside the pressure hull, perhaps to save internal space. It had two mine-laying devices that could remotely deploy four mines, or they could be replaced with two 400 mm torpedo launch tubes. It launched a smaller version of the PMT-1 anti-submarine torpedo with a diameter of 400 mm. This torpedo had an acoustic detection system and could strike submarines at depths of 20 to 200 meters, as well as attack surface vessels. The submarine also had two equipment compartments on the outside, where the diver's diving equipment could be stored. The divers could obtain electricity from the mothership through cables and replenish air through a breathing tube. The personnel inside the submarine could also transfer equipment to the external equipment compartments through a small passage for the divers to use. Although small, the Piranha was fully equipped. The control room was located in the central position of the submarine, equipped with a retractable periscope and a small MRCP-60 radar system. The submarine also had a small MGK-13S sonar system, allowing it to perform search and attack missions like conventional submarines. It had a maximum endurance of 10 days and had strong independent operational capabilities. The power system was installed in a separate compartment which housed a 160 kilo diesel engine and a 60 kilo DC motor. The submarine had a maximum surface speed of 6 knots and a maximum submerged speed of 6.7 knots. It had a maximum surface range of 1,600 kilometers and a maximum submerged range of approximately 420 kilometers at an economical speed of 4 knots. The submarine's engine was installed on shock absorbers and there were mentions of sound-absorbing coatings on the surface of the hull, which made its noise level very low. It had once evaded a joint search by a destroyer and an anti-submarine ship during an exercise, and then surfaced very close to them. In a real combat situation, this would mean that the submarine had launched a deadly torpedo attack. Overall, the 865 Piranha submarine was an advanced underwater weapon that would still be relevant today. However, it had bad luck. It underwent extensive testing in the 1980s, and the Soviet Navy acquired two submarines, designated MS-520 and MS-521, in 1990. At that time, the submarines were not yet combat-ready, because it was very difficult for three crew members to operate such a mini-submarine that was no different from conventional submarines. The crew members had to learn a series of skills, including combat command, electromechanical maintenance, weapon, radar, sonar operation, and navigation, which could not be accomplished in a short period of time. Moreover, special operations personnel also needed to be trained. More importantly, the Soviet Union disappeared from the world shortly after, and the Russian Navy that inherited the submarines was unable to maintain the Piranha. It lasted until 1999 when both submarines were dismantled, and the titanium alloy of the submarines fetched a good price. During this period, Russia had considered selling this class of submarines to foreign countries, but did not receive any orders. 
It was not until the beginning of this century that Russia realized the importance of the 865 Piranha mini-submarine and proposed a plan to develop a Super Piranha mini-submarine with a displacement increased to 730 tons. Although Russia managed to preserve the blueprints of the 865 class, it is currently unable to construct it due to the state of the Russian industry, and there has been no progress so far.